Hey guys, welcome to another David Zimbaletta. My name is Serge, and welcome to another unboxing. I'm just gonna go ahead and get the stuff out of the way. This is another diagnostic skin tool, but not just a baby tool. This is a launch unit. I've been wanting to get one of these. So let's go ahead and get this thing opened up so you can see everything I got. Got this over the holidays because why not? reward myself for all the hard work that I've been doing. I already got a big unit like this that I paid basically like 1500 bucks for. Well, this is another one that I paid another 1500 bucks for. Two years later, of course, there's two year update thing that you gotta pay for. So instead of the update, I just thought, you know what? Why not an upgrade? First time, I just got a huge box and that box had everything in it, the computer and all the pin connectors. I like the fact that in this box, the pin connectors are in a separate box. Let's see what they look like. They're right there. We're going to get back to the connectors. But for now, let's take a look at this baby. I really like the fact that there's no extra stuff, okay? This is actually very important. Be sure you keep that because you will need to program, well, register your unit and create an account and whatnot. I have already created an account for this unit, so, and I also have updated it. As you can see, I added some fingerprints already to the unit. Um, let's go ahead and actually get it started. While it's starting up, let me show you what it has. It's got li this little guy right here. You basically connect this to the vehicle, this to the computer, Man, you can do so much with this. Let me tell you, let me tell you. Um, and this I'm just gonna leave in the bag, okay? So let's get to the nitty gritty. This is the connector for the OBD2 port. So you take this and you plug it up right over here. And you spin this together like this. Everything else is Bluetooth, and this is like long range. So you can do, oh my gosh, you could do so much stuff with this thing. You can program computers, you could make them virgin, you could do keys, you could like, basically do everything that the dealer can do. Um, Cause nowadays, you know how it is. Hopefully that's the quest word. Okay, it is. All right. Yeah, there, there we go. This, it's basically a tablet. Um, over here, I really like the fact that it's got this little stand. Um, actually, this actually works well just to stand it up in this box. Because really, once you plug this in to your vehicle, you can just come back out and just see what all it has. Like, let's say like on your mechanics cart, you could just have like this sitting there and you'll come out outside testing things, looking at the engine, observing what it's doing, you know, kind of cool. So I think it might be trying to connect to the internet, I don't know. But by the way, I had to connect, uh, well, download YouTube. Now the cool thing is whenever you are writing any type of codes or anything, you can search for the codes directly. Um, from this, you could just look up the codes and it's going to take you to the website if you connect it to the internet. And it's gonna basically show you all of these different things. There's like so much with this unit. I'm not gonna really cover everything in this video. I will do like a separate video. Today, I just wanna show you guys what's inside of the box. But very, very exciting. Like I can't wait to just like dive in and just like start, you know, going through the stuff. But uh, this, this little thing here allows it to basically, um, basically do like um, all kinds of coding. Anyways, very quickly, let's go ahead and dive in and take a look at some of these things. We're going to go ahead and actually pull that out, close this up, put the unit over here. Let's take a look at everything that's being supplied in the first box. So, so basically you have your computer type of cable. Um, if you look at this unit, this blue port fits into that. This other one, into your computer, allowing you to do programming. This here is a USB Type-C charge port uh, for the unit itself. Um, 
when you look over here you got the usb type c connector right there and when you open this up you have a usb type of um place over here so you can actually have it communicate this with that with, with this little thing or the other way or with the computer if you want to do some um update and whatnot so you have a home usb type c connector right there if you live in europe you have european connectors that are included which is great now let's take a look at at this thing right here so what is this well simply non 16 pin adapter box so that's the box that comes in non 16 pin adapter box and that's what the launch unit comes in uh you know looking at it but uh, anyways let's open this up let's remove all of these bubbly things and this be sure to keep all of your manuals you pay this much money might as well you're gonna have connector for fd six plus one so this is like for like the old mozart states you got the gb12 right here k20 um i guess that would be like for like the civics and stuff then you got the h a t a t a b20 uh that's like a mercedes plug cr6 and here's uh bz which is i guess like ben's plug right there as well uh these are like all of these like old school adapters i don't know much about old school um, so if I made a mistake, forgive me. I just use the OBD2 and all of my cars are newer. Uh, moving on, this will allow you to connect stuff to the car. So you have the OBD2 right there. You have this type of end right here to connect additional stuff. Then you have this little handy dandy device with like a, like a VGA computer style port. If you look, um, anyways, let's see what's in here. Looks like you have uh, some battery cable leads. You have the power supply if you need that. So that's actually included. That's kind of cool. What would you need that for? I guess this right here. So when you're doing, doing coding, that's where that is. And stuff is charging. So we also got some fuses. That is good. Um, I wanna take out some of these connectors, just see them. Now, I'm really questioning where is the connector that this goes into. So plug this into. So this is a 16 pin. I mean, let me see something. That separates. Oh my gosh. Okay. I, I knew I had something missing, but like, I guess reading instructions would be important. Um, so this port would go here and you tie that up. And I'm thinking like, what the heck is going on here? All right, so now we got this thing figured out. So just stick that back into the box. Let's say you want to use a CR6 connector. Um, you simply plug this in spin the leads together and you plug that into the car now like this actually makes more sense now and then you pull this out for the Benz connectors like goes under the hood for the the year 2000 2002 Benz sometimes even like um transmissions so now it makes a lot of sense and here's another connector this here I don't think that's a Benz. I thought it's a Benz, but it's not. Doesn't look like it. This is for something else. Um, this Scanto also does trucks. So some of this stuff could be, you know, for the semi trucks and stuff. Um, but anyways, literally, I got enough supplies here. But um, I won't be using that anytime soon or my European plugs. So I'm going to go ahead and clean up my box a little bit and only put stuff that I will need. Um, as far as this goes, I think this is only useful for when you're actually doing those old school cars. So I would leave that in there in a the box. I don't think it's gonna be good for programming, to be honest. 
I'm just guessing as far as that goes. Uh, it's always best to supply power directly to the battery when you're actually programming. That is simply to supply power to these little units. That's what it's for. So if you got DC power, great. Cigarette plug, great. You could, you could basically do that. Um, and you got some fuses. I don't know where these fuses goes, but I'm assuming, well, so watch for assumptions. I don't know where the fuses goes because these units are like solidly made. I don't think I'm gonna be taking them apart anytime soon. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you guys in the next one when I'm actually going to be doing some diagnostics on one of the vehicles that I have here. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.